I want to discuss is that how stem cells are found to also help decrease or even just even using fasting itself decrease IGF-1 levels as well as PKA levels. Now why is it important to decrease IGF-1 levels? So IGF-1 is basically a very important factor for human growth hormones to be able to increase, you know, stimulating, you know, the growth hormones for our muscle, for bones. So you're like, why would you want to decrease that? Hey, what's up, fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. If you are new here and not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button just right below. Hit that notification bell because every Tuesday and Thursday, we do post a video either on fasting, natural medicine, other health topics. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. So today we're going to talk about fasting and how fasting can stimulate stem cell regeneration and also a lot of the benefits that come behind it. First off, we should talk about what are stem cells. Stem cells are something that our body is always continuously always generating uh, to regenerate new cells. They are always, you know, duplicating and our process of when we need to generate things, for example, for you know, collagen or even just uh, different cells and tissues for different organs, they all require different stem cells to be able to regenerate that. And as we age, we're always, always renewing new cells. Uh, we always are recycling them through. But as we get older, they're not working as properly as we would like to see them. So when we want to obviously regenerate new cells, it's important to find what are the best techniques. And fasting is certainly one of those better techniques, and that's what we're going to talk further down to talk about how fasting can stimulate stem cells and what the research has to say about it. So the other thing is also what are stem cells useful for? As I was saying before, as you know, what stem cells are, it's also very useful when we tend to have more of a degenerative types of conditions such as you know as we get older our knees shoulders back start degenerating over time and people start seeking out uh, some stem cell treatment and one of those things could be you know stem cell injection therapy where you can inject stem cells in the site to be able to regenerate that I've talked about that before a little bit in my channel but uh, there's also things such as called as PRP, which is platelet rich plasma, where you're taking pretty much your own blood, you're spinning it, and you're taking the platelet rich plasma and injecting it back in the site. What that does, it does stimulate actual stem cells to concentrate in that area to be able to regenerate growth in that area. So other things that could be beneficial for stem cells, it isn't just for muscle tissue, tendons, and bones, but also even in our intestinal lining uh, require a lot of stem cells. So it can prevent from even, you know, such as illnesses, infections, as well as even cancer that uh, gastrointestinal cancers that tend to be a big issue for uh, one of the bigger, you know, cancer problems that uh, we do have here in the U.S. and also outside of the U.S. The other thing that it also can do is help with even uh, stem cells can help with even our brain, the nervous system function. I mean, pretty much any cell in our body, stem cells can benefit from because we utilize that so much. So the biggest problem is when we do age, this is where stem cells start to slow down. And this is where a lot of diseases start to happen because what's happening is our body's not as vital. It's not cycling our cells as much, especially depending on how our eating habits have been in the past. Uh, you know, things start really slowing down, start backing up, and it's not recycling the cells like it should be. And this is where we start running into digestive issues. We start running into, you know, deteriorating joints. Uh, our muscles, you know, heart starting to not be as functional as we'd like to see it. Uh, even just Alzheimer's becoming an issue where our, our memory is not as keen as it used to be. So we start really starting to see as we get older, stem cells are not as efficient. And the reason why they're just not as efficient is because what's happening is that really when we're not being consistent with our good eating healthy habits, things are not functioning as properly. Just like kind of like with an old car, things over time just are not functioning as properly. And we want to look at ways that we can start cleaning out the system, start making our stem cell regeneration be more functional. And that's what we're going to talk about is in fasting, how fasting is really probably one of the best ways to start really increasing stem cells in our body and making more efficient in our body versus how they have been in the past. 
So let's go ahead and dive in of how fasting can help stimulate or regenerate stem cells in our body. I'm going to talk about a few different research articles that I did find about and have a little discussion here about that of what I found as far as how fasting can stimulate stem cell regeneration. The first research article uh, discusses about how fasting can enhance stem cells, but also help with the fight and illnesses and infections, even things such as like cancer. So looking at the first article here, it's uh, that I found it was done at uh, MIT biologist, Professor Omar, Omar uh, Yilmaz, if I pronounce that right, sorry for butching it. Uh, was a professor, and uh, David Sabatini uh, found out that the aging of stem cells could be reversed through fasting. To put this theory uh, to test, the biologists tested the effects of fasting on laboratory mice of different ages. So they looked at different age intervals of mice, not just looking at, you know, young, healthy ones. They also looked at very old age mice that, you know, were at more of their end of their lifespan. They observed how the regeneration process of stem cells reacted to food deprivation during a 24-hour fast. So these, they just only checked for a 24-hour fast. I know you guys are going to ask, you know, how long can you, uh, you know, do you need to do to stimulate stem cells? So this was just looking at 24 hours. They concluded that while fasting during that 24 hours um, has overall health benefits. It also enha- enhanced the regeneration of stem cells and facilitated fighting illnesses related to intestinal diseases, including cancer. So as you know, a lot of, um, you know, as it stimulated intestinal, uh, you know, stem cells, helping to fight a lot of infections that we get from our intestines, but also colon cancer uh, being an issue as being one of the big culprits of cancer. So if we can help prevent that, that's, that's huge to be able to see that fasting can not only do benefits of like what we talked about before is autophagy and obviously breaking down ketone bodies, but also stimulate stem cells that can be a huge culprit of helping preventing cancer, preventing different illnesses, especially for our intestinal tract that, you know, we are what we eat. But if we can use fasting to be able to help start reversing things, you know, because a lot of times we get down on ourselves of realizing, oh my gosh, (laughs) I haven't been eating very well for the past, you know, several years. Have I destroyed my body? Is it too late? I always say, no, it's not too late. You could always start, you know, going the right direction as long as you start making simple improvements in your diet. But fasting is definitely a way to really quicken that process to be able to stimulate, you know, stem cells, start increasing levels of autophagy and even breaking down those ketone bodies to help with, uh, you know, anti-inflammatory benefits as well. The next research article I want to discuss about what fasting can do is especially stem cells. So we know that fasting can stimulate stem cells, but what in this research, they were able to look at how it helped with fatty acid oxidization. Now with fatty acid oxidization, that of course is the process of breaking down our fat you know, breaking down the fat ketone bodies and stuff like that. We need to make that cycle being more regular and be able to use fat for fuel, especially when you're fasting. You want to make sure that's very efficient. And so with the research article, you know, they found that basically as you're aging and declining in the regeneration of intestinal stem cells, uh, it does has been correlated with decreasing of fatty acid oxidization. So as we get old, the intestinal cells and the stem cells are not being as fluent or they're not uh, cycling as well and aren't being as efficient. Therefore, the fatty acid oxidization is not as efficient. It's not breaking it down as, as efficiently. So the intestinal stem cells in healthy young bodies, they found, usually take up to five days in regenerating and differentiating. When fasting mice were observed, it was discovered that low caloric states such as intermittent fasting prompt cells to induce fatty acid oxidization in adults in adults intestinal stem cells as well as progenitor cells, causing them to become more regenerative. So just that alone, seeing that even fasting or even just doing something simple as intermittent fasting can, yes, enhance stem cells, but also be more efficient in breaking down our fat bodies, but also using the stem cells that do help with fatty acid oxidization, because as we get older, it's just not as efficient. So obviously, that's another, you know, benefit that we can use with using the combo of fasting to enhance stem cells to have our body more efficient of using fatty acid oxidization. 
The other thing that they found in this research that I want to kind of discuss about is they also even looked at how our metabolism was more efficient when we started enhancing stem cells. So looking at further, you know, they did find that fasting prevents intestinal stem cells from using, you know, from using up carbohydrates such as sugar. So it prevented that. And instead, it helps them utilize fat as fuel. The research found that in the fasting mice, intestinal stem cells doubled the regeneration speed and capability. Fasting mo- uh, mobilized intestinal crypts to form more organoids that are driven by stem cells. This method of metabolizing fatty acid leads to a huge regeneration boost. So not only are we more efficient at using fat for fuel, but also even more efficient of our metabolism. Right. So I know that's always really important for people who decide to do fasting to try to boost their metabolism rate so they can start losing the weight. But just having more efficiency in all our cells using fasting to increase stem cells, that's really nice to kind of see this. Now, I know these are all studies that are done with mice. And soon I hope, you know, we get more research where done on more human studies. But at least this can give us a little bit of info that this can possibly be happening in the human body as well. The last thing I want to discuss is that how stem cells are found to also help decrease or even just even using fasting itself, decrease IGF-1 levels as well as PKA levels. Now, why is it important to decrease IGF-1 levels? So IGF-1 is basically a very important factor for human growth hormones to be able to increase, you know, stimulating, you know, the growth hormones for our muscle, for bones. So you're like, why would you want to decrease that? Well, there is definitely links and connections that they have found with certain cancers that are connected to high levels of IGF-1. So this is why it's good to have, you know, look at how IGF-1 can be decreased. And they certainly have found this through fasting. But not only that, when they increase levels of fasting that help stimulate increased levels of stem cells, it does bring down IGF-1 levels and PKA levels that help the process of being more efficient where when you're bringing when fasting brings down IGF-1 levels stem cells has room for stem cells to be more efficient and be able to utilize it in the right ways instead of stimulating growth in the unhealthy cells because that's what's going on is when you're increasing levels of IGF-1 levels it's of course yes it will increase of the good cells but also the bad cells and you don't want that. You don't want, uh, you know, precancerous cells starting to be stimulated in growth and be, you know, more of an issue. You want to be able to decrease that. And what's, that's what fasting does. So I'm curious about what you guys think as far as when it comes to fasting and stem cells. What benefits have you found or even researched about finding about stem cells Uh, regeneration through fasting, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. So if you are new here and not have subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here. And as always, you could check out these playlists over here, one of them right over here that you could check out of where I talk about fasting and stem cells, some other videos on that. And then as always, this is Dr. Legrand and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.